What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day, the postseason edition. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join Ninja Nation. Lots of cool stuff coming up in the offseason, including live streams that you're not going to want to miss, so hit subscribe. And without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Nathan Ivaldi. Big game Nate had four Ks in six and a third innings, giving up two runs on five hits and three walks. He picked up his strikeouts on these fastballs, including this cheese at the knees, had these cutters, including this painted cutter, as well as this filthy splitter. Here's Ivaldi's pitch breakdown for the game. Ivaldi struggled a little bit in the first inning, and then after that it was pretty much smooth sailing for him. Well, at least until the sixth inning. But overall, a very good outing by big game Nate cementing his legacy as a postseason ace. But my favorite part about Ivaldi's outing had nothing to do with his pitching. Check out this foul ball that hits Jonah Heim square in the nuts. A thankfully rare two balls with one strike pitch. And check out Nasty Nate's reaction. Someone getting hit in the balls is always funny, unless it's you. I also loved Ivaldi pitching Altuve, not because of that matchup, because of the matchup of Jordan Baker, the tallest umpire in the major leagues, versus Jose Altuve, the shortest player. In my head, I had Altuve going to the dugout, getting out a stool, just so he could argue balls and strikes eye to eye with the man. They look like they're different species. Uvalde faced Framber Valdez, who had six Ks in five innings, giving up three runs on five hits and two walks. Valdez had this filthy sinker that had 18 inches of run. As a hitter that looks like it's coming to the plate, and then veers off arm side. Valdez also had his usual mix of dirty curveballs and cutters. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Brian Abreu had these sliders. Jose Leclerc picked up this huge K in a bases loaded situation. Not necessarily with a filthy pitch, this was kind of a hanging cutter. But throwing that cutter after two fastballs were fouled off on a 3-2 count, just a change of speeds is enough to get a swing and miss. Josh Spores picked up big K of Jordan Alvarez with this beautiful sequence of a painted curveball and then 97 just off the plate in that same tunnel. And you can see why that was such a perfect combination. Jordan had a guard against another painted curveball. And since that fastball was in the same tunnel as that curveball, it makes it very tough to recognize. And Spores got the huge whiff. Probably my filthiest pitch of the night was this sweeper by Phil Maton that had 20 inches of break. Now, I know people might have been yelling, why did you swing at that? Here's an overlay of that sweeper with Maton's fastball. And you can see as a hitter, you think you're getting a fastball that's running to the plate. And if you get a sweeper instead, you're going to look silly. And now my pitching ninja moment of zen. It's Marcus Simeon taking heed of that old Texas saying from George Bush and J. Cole. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Since this is the last day that more than one baseball game will be played, my picks of the day today are two three-leg parlays. First, I'm going to start off with the same game parlay of Merrill Kelly for 5Ks or more and Aaron Nola for 6Ks or more. And then I'm going to add in Trey Turner to score at least one run. And then I'm going to top it off with a three-leg same game parlay of Christian Javier and Max Scherzer, both to have 5Ks or more, and Jordan Alvarez to have more than two total bases. And I'm going to use my 30% profit boost from FanDuel on that last parlay to boost my profits by 30% for any same game parlay or same game parlay plus of three legs or more. What would your picks of the day be? 